Welcome back to Super Princess Peach. Now that everything has been completed, Bowser's okay. door is open. And, uh... You know, this minigame kind of ruins the, the great dramatic... You know, Tension. ending to this. But, whatever. This is a, another... It's the Boo game again. Okay, I'm really... Angry that uh, there wasn't like a cutscene where Toads like force open Bowser's door. <laughs> it kind of would have made sense, but <laughs> that's what should have happened because it forces us to save these worthless Toads. Why can't I like do this? <laughs> it, it, that one, <laughs> that one boo somehow managed to get through every time. You know, you said it before, and I, I think. This mini game is going to prove more challenging than Bowser. Yeah, I think he, it is. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard. I, I, what is this like? Is this like a dungeon? Uh, I think so. Like, just chains and cages everywhere. That's weird, were all the toads captured in here? You know, this is kind of... weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> Just a dungeon full of... Wow. Yeah, chains and cage. it is... I don't know. What is Bowser doing with this place? <laughs> <laughs> Just keeps creatures in chains. And cages. This is, like, Bowser's... What is going on with that one ghost? <laughs> The uh, Smashing Pumpkin song about Nicolas Cage comes to mind right now. Wait, the Smashing Pumpkin song about Nicolas Cage? <laughs> <clears throat> that one where um, they quote their own song wrong and they're supposed to say, you know, despite all their rage, they're still just Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Uh, oh, he... Thanks, you dodged it. Yeah, I'm surprised. I thought for sure he was gonna get by. Whew, okay. Too many big boos. I feel like that should be a tongue twister, but it's not. Too many big boos. He does... Does Bowser work with the boos? Does does, Bow does Bowser <laughs> in cahoots with Big Boo? Or not Big Boo, uh, King Boo? King Boo. <laughs> um, he's like, yeah, that's a good question. It's like a totally different affiliation. Oh, the ending yeah, was right I, there. I didn't even think about that, that's true. Bowser and the boos, they don't work together at all. Yeah, I guess it's easy to think that they do, because they're both just villains. Mm-hmm. Of the Mario universe. No! It's weird, like, I don't understand, like, what's happening. Like, I'm like, I'm holding down on them, and sometimes it's like... ...not registering. Touch screen's broke. I have a feeling that some of them aren't even showing up on the touch screen, they're just going straight up to the top screen. Yeah, like that ghost. I they're don't like think those very, are... like, briefly showing up on the touch screen sometimes. There it is. Alright. Good. Finally. Alright, now the easy part, Bowser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've come so far, the hammer guys are very fast, so get the weaker ones out of the way immediately. You think Bowser's huge face is his weak spot? Then aim for it. Use whatever you can to beat him. What hammer guys? I don't see any hammer guys. Uh, this is like a multi-phase boss. As, uh, should probably be expected. Wow, Perry has like... Huh? Hey, who are you? What? Who'd guess the princess would make it? Talk about courage. I don't know why she's getting so mad about that, but okay. 
Bowser, leave it to me. Defeating this brat won't take long. You called the princess a brat? What? <laughs> Fine, with the scepter, I'll pump you up your strength. Why would you, why would why would the lines be pump up your strength? Why not like I don't know, that was just weird, Nintendo. Uh Feel the power of the mighty scepter. I don't know, I guess he just made him rage. What? Where's Bowser going? He's ascending to heaven. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I was not yeah, I don't really that. understand. Like all these go or, or not Goombas, uh, Hammer Bros. This one Hammer Bro, he uh, he summons all these other Hammer Bros like from the sky. Hmm. And uh, he, well, he's actually pretty easy. You just smack him in the face a bunch. Grr. That reminds me of the. Uh... Heroes of the Storm, uh, Rhaegar's, I think it's like, Bloodthirst ability. <laughs> I don't, I never really used Rhaegar all that much. Mm. So I'm kind of glad I filled up on Vibe, um, because I'm going to need to do a whole lot of healing, which I guess I could have gone for health in the same case. <laughs> but um, I won't be needing, like, any of the other Vibes, like, throughout the whole final boss, so I could just, like, focus on, um... Health? Yeah, focus on calm. Wow, Bowser! Wow, he just disintegrated. Alright. Well, his last words were Bowser. <laughs> his last words. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't tell me Bowser's coming back. Oh, okay, we're going up. Yeah, we're going up Ooh, into the portal thing. This we're like on the rooftop of his castle villa. Ah, mm. impressive. But enough of that. Now you'll understand the true power of the scepter. Peach is mad again. Uh, yeah, she's mad at Bowser. <laughs> so I'm not a hundred percent sure, like how this boss works. Like, it's pretty straightforward. Um, just smack him in the face. But you can't always hit him, so I'm not sure if he's on, like, a timer, or if there's, like, specific times you're supposed to hit him. Oh, and he, when he does that ground pound, uh, I can't, you, like, you get stunned for a sec if you're still on the ground. Ooh! I wasn't expecting the flamethrower. Interesting. It's actually a pretty simple boss. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how many times you have to hit him before one of the, uh, the skulls disappears, but, um, yeah, you hit him a bunch of times, and then, uh, then a skull disappears. And he's actually using, um, like, all of the different vibes himself now. Interesting. So I think he's using Joy right there? Joy. Does it, does it explain that later? Because I never would have guessed. Um, I mean... I think you just assume. Mm. Ow. He is fighting with the scepter, right? That's the scepter yeah, that's there? that's the vibe scepter right there. And now he's sad. Oh, Loom. okay, yeah, that makes sense. And now he throws giant hammers. Wow. Is this a we pretty know. cool, like, nod to, uh... The original Super Mario Bros.? Where, um, he tosses hammers and stuff. Bowser did? Yeah. Yeah, that was his, um, original attack. Throwing hammers. I was gonna say, those hammers reminded me of, uh, Paper Mario. Because those look like the, sec the second level hammer you get. Yeah, I guess, like, hammers have been a thing... Like, in the Mario universe. No, I want that vibe! Alright, well... <laughs> I was using Rage, but yeah, hammers have been like a thing since like the first game. Yeah, like Donkey Kong. Inter oh yeah! Wow! No, I want Mario to fight with a hammer now, what the heck? Well, you get the hammer- oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna heal up real fast. If- Bowser, chill out, man. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to heal. Ooh, okay, wasn't expecting that to happen. 
What are we talking about? Oh. I like lost track. <laughs> the hammers. Oh no, do we have to start the whole fight over again? I hope you don't have to do the minigame again. No! No, no! I can skip it. Um, do you want to skip? Yes. Um, but we do okay. have to do the hammer bro fight over again. Oh, that's not too bad though. Yeah. Um, when he rages like that, I'm just gonna. I guess I'll, I should just focus on attacking instead of healing because. Um, it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I had, I had zero time to heal. Like he was running around way too much. He seemed vulnerable too. Yeah, I could have. Yeah, I could have just kept hitting him, but I, I was too focused on just trying to get my health back up. You know what's funny is that there's statues of the those spiky Koopa troopers. All over pl the place, but it's like there's none of them in this game. Oh yeah, what's with the the the, the fully armed that are like in a full suit of armor with a sword? Yeah. Like where are those Koopas? Those should have been the guardians. Like, are you holding out? <laughs> He's like, these are monuments to those breed of Koopas because I no longer have them. Maybe they're like they were medieval Koopas. Like, that's what the Koopas were like in me medieval. <laughs> Mushroom Kingdom. Medieval Mario. <laughs> Medieval Mario. I would play that, but it better be a first-person slasher. A first-person slasher. <laughs> I mean, I I'm gonna keep bringing out Mario and Rabbids, but like, if they can do that, <laughs> I, I feel like anything goes at this point. <laughs> I Mario mean, they had Mobile? guns, sort of. They have what? Guns. Yeah. Yeah. Blasters, I guess, might be a more accurate term. Alright. Take two. I should just focus on not taking damage in the first place. That might be a better strategy. <laughs> <laughs> New strategy. Oh, it's hard to tell exactly um, what kind of fire breath he's going to use. Mm -hmm. Um... You see him charge up, but you don't know if he's going to use the fireball or the flamethrower. So... You don't really have a lot of time to react. <sighs> Alright. I think these hammers give me a sec to... Use calm. You know, I'm curious if there's a, if, the, if anyone is sped run this game. I mean, I imagine. I'd be interested in interested to know what the timing is because finding those crazy toads took us forever. Well, we could look it up right after this. Definitely, and then we'll speed run ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser, no! Oh. I just wanted the vibe behind you. <laughs> All right, I should grab some of that now. Huh. Oh, that's a good sort of strategy. Get behind... Alright, maybe I should stop trying to rush. Just jumping into his back and hurting myself for no reason. <laughs> okay, do I have a sec to relax over here? Alright. Yeah, the hammers give me good time. Just chill out. I need him to come over here and break the statue, though, so I can get more vibe. Whoa, that was close. Oh, the handles don't hurt you. That's good to know. That, that handle touched me. I like how Bowser. Bowser. <laughs> I like how Bowser just hides vibe energy in his uh, statues of himself. Maybe he's not hiding it. Maybe this like island. It's just like so potent with vibe energy that like. It just becomes, like, stored inside objects. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Excuse me? Let me get over here. Oh, whoa. Okay. So I have, like, no time to just kind of heal myself, I don't think. Oh, is, is he invulnerable? I remember you said that, but I wasn't sure. But it definitely seems like I can't touch this guy right now. Yeah, there has to be, like, a spot either it wears off or something. Yeah, um... Should I wait for him to cool down? 
I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember him. Okay. I was gonna say, cause I don't, like, I don't remember him being invulnerable at any point, even if he is raged. He just wasn't taking damage. Great. I need to keep an eye on him. I can't take damage while healing him. Oh, we did it. Nice. Uh, Goodbye, Bowser. Wah! You have much to learn. Uh-oh, it's a big Bowser. Who didn't see that coming? <laughs> <laughs> How does he do that? It's just like Get one big. of Bowser's natural abilities. Get huge. I, well, either that or he has better mushrooms than Mario gets in the Mushroom Kingdom. You think he's just storing mushrooms? I think so, and they're like twice as potent. Or maybe he just reacts more, uh... Like, his body reacts more aggressively to the uh, mushrooms than Mario do. If that's the case, then in the Mario lore, I'm going to state shortening his lifespan. So with this fight, um... It's hard to, like, focus. Because, um... you got to take one of these bob bombs And sh hit him right in the middle of the eyes. Or hit him right in the eyes with the, the bob bomb And, uh. um... It's really a timing thing. Um, I find what works is, uh, as soon as the bob um starts, uh, doing that, I have to, like, count to three seconds. <sighs> and then throw it. I'm gonna actually absorb some of these bombs right now. Um, I need vibe more than anything. That sounds dangerous. So I, I really don't want to screw up. Um... So I'm gonna, oh, yeah, I'm gonna to try someone. to play this safe, hopefully not too safe, to the point where I take too long to do this and end up hurting myself. But, um, I am going to absorb all of these bottoms right now. Try to heal a bit more. And, uh, this next batch I'll... ...go on the attack. So the pressure's on, like... I don't want to fail, because I don't want to go back and start this... Go back to the hammer, bro. <laughs> Not those hammers, bro. <laughs> Don't want to go back to the hammer, bro. Oh, whoa, that was a bad idea. Why did I grab that bomb? <laughs> right, right in the face. All right, next batch. Um, I'm going to absorb the bomb bombs. Nice. <clears throat> it's really like difficult to dodge them when they come down. So he puts his hands up like that. Okay, it seems safe, like right in the middle. Oh, there's only three. Uh, there's four. I think I will. Oh. Okay, bye. I don't want you anymore. Can't oh. you absorb them when they're trying to explode? Yeah, I should I should have absorbed them. I'm not sure why I threw them. I, I just saw them flashing and I freaked out. <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> right. Stay in the middle. Get this guy out of the way. hurting myself. Well, whatever. We're doing damage, slowly but surely. Uh, oh, I don't know how to dodge this! Never figured that out. I, I never figured out how to dodge his flamethrower. I'm gonna absorb three of these, actually. I think that might be the best way to go. Because then, uh, I don't have to worry about them walking around. Oh, you s you spike balls! <laughs> uh, maybe I could. Dang, I probably just have to like what, run from one side of the screen to the other, like dodge it completely. So I'll try that next time. Yeah, I think so. Hey, we beat him! Nice. I was afraid he was going to use his bubble. Um, he he actually has this ability where he uh, gets a bubble and falls asleep, and he can uh, regain health. But he never got to use it because wow. uh, we beat him. Yeah, we beat him, 
and f- <laughs> we golf shoot him out of here with the umbrella. <laughs> nice shot. What and, was that uh, like a golf reference? Yeah, I think it's a Mario golf reference. But Mario, he's free. And uh, poor Ouija, no love. He was he went to go run to his brother and you know see him because. I, I just gotta say that I mean yeah Luigi did got screwed over in that like the no brotherly love but I just gotta say that's the most affection Peach has ever given Mario in any game yeah that's the happy reunion one thing about the scepter no one knows who created it or why but somewhere someone might possibly be using it right now what what your dad got mad at you the other day you say your mom's been laughing happily a lot? Maybe, just maybe, the Vibe Scepter is hidden away in your house somewhere. What? Ooh. Oh boy, that ending. That ending narrative. I don't know what they were thinking. That was creepy. <laughs> Why would I'm you not going to bother that? explaining it. For anyone that didn't get that. Wait. Did... It never explained Perry. Um, I th- there might be more to the story. I don't know. Um, there better be because like I don't, we don't know why or who or what. Yeah, there's why? no real resolution to the, all the, the those cutscenes. And he's not gonna be a human ever again. Like he's stuck as an umbrella. We couldn't even save him. Um, you know I don't. No. <laughs> um, uh, there is there is more. Um, I don't know if there's more story though. Hmm. But yeah. Um, that was fun. <laughs> Bill Trinan. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I guess we can you- finally see. Okay, so the Super Mario Club. Um, obviously was. I guess it was just the Super Mario Club that uh, designed, produced this game. Um, just that I guess Miyamoto was not involved. Huh. Oh, Iwata. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was, he, he's in every, or was uh, in every um, credit for first party Nintendo games. Interesting. But yeah, not a huge team. <clears throat> Um, that was all the credits. Yeah. Fun, and... That's it, I guess. The end. Interesting. So, uh, there is... Kind of a a post-game... Post-game plus? What do you call that? End-game plus? Not a new game plus. I would just say post game. Yeah, there's a post content. game. Um, there are extra levels after you complete the main game. Um, so we're going to take a hiatus from this playthrough, I guess. And um, we'll come back to this eventually. Um, unless. Unless it's more toad gathering, then this game is done. Well, there's more puzzle pieces to get. We we didn't show off any of the puzzle stuff. Uh, we didn't do mm-hmm. any of the puzzles, but there's more puzzle pieces to get. There's th- like three new levels per world. Um, so we'll get the... Uh, so we'll get all those puzzle pieces and um, do the puzzles and mini games and stuff. All that stuff we didn't check out. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna take this. We're gonna put this on like the back burner. I don't know when we're gonna come back to this. It could be a long time, unless like there's people out there that like actually want us to. One hundred percent. Like yeah, finish this up. Um, I'll say this: like the video if you want us to one hundred percent it, and leave a comment in the comment section if you want us to speed run it. <laughs> um. Yeah, you can, but we're not going to speed run it. Right. <laughs> Probably. (laughs) But, uh, yes, we do have plans to 100%. Um, We just don't know when. 
Could be sooner. Um, if, you know, people want us to. Mm. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little, would you call it a spinoff? Yeah, it's a spinoff, I guess. This little spinoff side quest we went on. Yeah. Hope you had fun. I had fun. The Toads had fun. The Toads had a great time. They were in boxes the whole time. <laughs> we should have just <laughs> left them there. <laughs> All right. Um. So, next time. Yeah. See no, you in the next series. See you in the next series. See you next game. <laughs>